Hey there, Ronnie here. Real quick before we get into the main episode, I just want to let you know that early bird registration for the Redefined Network Marketing event happening May 4, 5, and 6 is now open. That's right. You can register at RonnieCruz.com slash Redefine. I'm going to be teaching you everything that I've learned about online marketing in the last year and a half so that you can take your business online, on social media, and build massive, massive success into this next decade and beyond. Again, you can go to RonnieCruz.com slash redefine you're going to get an early bird pricing don't wait because this early bird registration is going to expire make sure you register today welcome to the redefine podcast all right welcome back to the show thanks for tuning in today we're going to talk about the top five reasons why people are afraid of content creation now this is going to be a two-part series so if you're not already following the show go ahead and hit the plus sign at the top of whatever app you happen to be listening on and if you're watching this on youtube of course hit the subscribe button down below now You'll also notice, uh, for those of you listening on the podcast, there's much less background noise. It's because I am recording in the truck once again. I apologize to my YouTube viewers. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's just really no other way for me to get this recording done outdoors. It's so incredibly breezy where, where we are, the location. We, we're sitting in a valley. Um, and of course, it's that time of year, right? The, the temperature swings uh, you know, in any given day creates a very, very breezy conditions. And with the particular recording uh, you know, equipment that I have, which is just the earbuds. Um, it all it doesn't even have to be a strong breeze for it to sound like an absolute hurricane on the recording. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll have to invest in a wireless mic, the you know, with the windscreen and noise canceling, um, you know, capabilities. So, yeah, it's an, it's ever a work in progress, right? Like my production value is always something that I'm trying to tweak over time. Which actually, this is reason number one. So let's get right into it. Top five reasons why people are afraid of content creation. The first one is they can't or don't know how to make videos or content of pro quality, right? Um, and I totally get it, right? Like, like we want to put our best face forward, our, our best foot forward. We want our, pro, uh, our content to look and sound as best as possible, especially given, you know, the space uh, today. Like, what I've really noticed lately is production value in people's content, especially on the, you know, excuse me, on, on video content, it's just incredible. Like really people have really content creators have really leveled up their game. And I, I, I you know, makes sense. Uh, I think from a consumer uh, standpoint, since most or majority of consumers uh, scroll through socials, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, etc., YouTube um, for entertainment and distraction, the content creators have to really level up their game from a production value to uh, attract and catch their attention and, and keep their attention, right? So it makes perfect sense. The demand for pro quality um, and, and high quality production value has definitely increased. However, for me, it still doesn't matter. <laughs> I think, well, not that it doesn't matter. Let me let me take that back. I think in terms of the, the ladder of importance of, you know, the things that you got to consider for your content, um, Production value is still very low on that ladder for me personally. I would rather you pay attention to the quality of the value in the content, right? Because, you know, if, if your value is of a high enough quality, then your audience is uh, going to be more than forgiving of the production value. And especially if you're, if you're new, I mean, we all start off as disasters anyway. In fact, I, I should probably share at some point um, the different, uh, well, my evolution as a content creator from you know, back in you know, 2007, 2008, when I first started um, my, my YouTube channel for my business. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that, number one, it's never going to be perfect, right? You're never going to get, like, the perfect quality um, uh, content as tr- as in, terms of, uh, in terms of production value, unless that's your thing, right? Unless you're, you're a professional, you know, photographer, videographer, and, and all that stuff, then you'll, you'll have a little bit of advantage. But for most of you getting started, um, you're just the average, you know, user of, of uh, uh, and, and, and producer of content so don't be afraid to you know be very amateurist with the production value it's totally fine as long as you you know as you have a, you know very simple uh, setup to, to convey your your message that's what really matters that's what really matters and and of course you'll get you'll get better over time right my my reels if you look at it they've definitely improved over time as far as quality and and production level um, and and so it's uh yeah it's just it's just an evolution you never come out it, Worrying about coming out of the gate um, with pro quality content 
um, from from a production value standpoint, it's it's never gonna it's never gonna happen. What ends up happening, what I've seen, um, you know, more often than not, is people spend so much time on production value that they never end up actually publishing a single thing because they're too concerned about you know how how their how their content is going to be received from a t- production value standpoint. Um, and then really, you know, the, at the root of it, it's just your own judgments, right? Like it doesn't exist anywhere else other than how you think your, your content is going to be perceived, right? Focus more on the value of, of the message that you're delivering and, you know, the, the production value will get better over time. All right. So that's number one. Number two people don't want to be on camera, right? And I get that too. Like the, the, one of the biggest fears, uh, you know, that we always hear is that uh, people are afraid of public speaking. And so, you know, being on camera and speaking and, and producing content is another version of that. However, I, I, I want to encourage you to do so because, um, well, I mean, you know, you can do different types of content, right? Of course, you can, um, you know, do blogs, uh, you can do audio content like a podcast. I encourage you to at least do audio um, because there's more layers uh, to the communication than, than just the written word. Right. And so the more you allow yourself to be on video and to be on audio, um, the better you'll be able to convey the ideas and communicate the thing that you're trying to communicate to your audience and to your followers. Um, Otherwise, then there there, there's a lot of room with just the written word for interpretation. Right. Remember, I think, you know, majority like a good majority of communication is is uh, the body language. Right. And visual communication. So um, I encourage you to do that and also understand that, you know, like to put it in context. I really think that you're already doing that in the first place, right? If you are watching this, if you, you know, are participate on any social media, chances are you've posted a picture of yourself or a video of yourself doing something recently up to update, you know, your, your, uh, your uh, followers on, on any of the social platforms. So to do it intentionally and purposefully with a message in mind, I think is more what really the fear is. Um, because again, it's the fear of, um, you know, being judged. It's the fear of being criticized for that particular content that is purposeful uh, as opposed to just updating people on the dinner that you're having or the movie that you're watching all right so you're already doing it just the the intentionality behind being a content creator uh, i think people worry about more and you know it's natural again it's it's a natural fear to have it's you're it's never going to get easier if you don't do it so just rip the band-aid off and and get out there and produce content and again especially if you're new um it's okay to be a disaster it really is you'll get better over time and um the 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 quicker you throw yourself into it uh to putting yourself on camera the the more the quicker you'll become comfortable with it and and it won't be a big deal right as opposed to prolonging you know the the hesitation prolonging the anxiety prolonging the discomfort right just rip that band-aid off and and you'll get used to it and and you won't even have to think twice all right so the last one for this episode is number three there's so many platforms and so many different strategies right like which one do i start on right and so they're immediately overwhelmed and and intimidated by by the whole prospect of being content creator in the first place and and i totally understand i was completely intimidated by online marketing in this whole space when i first started in uh, 2022 at the beginning of 2022 so my suggestion is you don't have to be on all of them at once right uh, you know expand into that over time choose the one um, that you're most comfortable with choose the one that you enjoy the most choose the one and and that's probably going to be the one platform that you spend the most time on right if you spend the most time on instagram for uh, for example um then then let that be your primary right for me I love podcasting. That's my primary. I love YouTube. I added that. And then, you know, with fa- with Facebook now, that was very, very comfortable space for me as well. So, you know, just slowly add these things uh, as you go, expand into multiple platforms. But at the very beginning, just focus on one and then, you know, watch what people what people are doing on that platform. The people that that are in your space, number one, and the people that are that are, you know, able to kind of gain a lot of traction. Um, it's really, really easy when you treat this as a watch and learn and, and then and then do what other people who are successful doing, right? Right. So, so you know, try not to get 
try not to have sorry too many ideas um, in your mind about what uh, you know content creation looks like really narrow it down to um, to a, a very manageable hand, handful of specific things um, and when it comes to to you know the which platform to be on um, just pick one just start off with one and again um, pick the one that you spend the most time on the one that you enjoy the most and that's going to be the easiest transition over time you'll you'll of course you know eventually expand into um, you know other platforms if not as many you know all the plat all the main platforms as you as you can get on um, so yeah yeah I mean it's real simple and again these fears are natural um, the the you know when I got into this space at the beginning of 2022 I was very very intimidated but you know I just threw myself into it and that's the main thing right there's no such thing as perfect I think I said that at the very beginning and if I didn't I'm gonna say it again there's no such thing as perfect I love uh, uh, the saying and I don't know if she she coined the phrase but I heard it first from Jenna Kutcher done is better than perfect right so just create your content, publish it, and don't think twice about, you know, the bells and whistles. Don't think twice about nailing the message and getting it absolutely perfect because perfect doesn't exist, right? Getting it, getting it uh, done, getting it, getting it published and, and out into the space is more important than, than trying to, uh, you know, craft the most perfect piece of content. Um, because yeah, it's just a waste of time, really. It's just a waste of time. You never know how your message, how your content is going to land anyways, right? All right. So um, numbers four and five tomorrow, so make sure you tune in uh, again if you're not already subscribed to this channel uh, hit the subscribe button down below or hit the plus sign on whatever app you happen to be listening on and then uh, yeah well until next time uh, be well be safe we'll see you in the next episode